Hello everyone, Dan here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review for Ahsoka Episode 8. This is the finale. Uh, I wouldn't even tell you the name of the episode till I get into spoilers. How about that? Uh, for anybody that's watching this without having seen the episode, first of all, thank you for being here, but go watch the episode. It's around 46 minutes. Uh, it's directed by Rick Famuyiwa, written by Dave Filoni. Uh, let's go over the cast. Now, the cast may have a few tiny spoilers, but um, yeah. So it stars Rosario Dawson as Ahsoka Tano. We also have Natasha Lee Bordiso as Sabine Wren. Diane Lee Santo as Lady Morgan S. Elspeth. Ivana Sakno as Shin Hati. Ray Stevenson as Balin Skull. David Tennant as Huyang. Mary Elizabeth Winston as Harrison Dula. We also have Iman Fondi as Ezra Bridger, Wes Chapman as Captain Enoch, and Lars Mikkelsen as Grand Admiral Thrawn. Um, so overall, I'm a little, I'm still, I'm still ruminating. I just like, I literally just finished five minutes ago. I came back to the setup because uh, I already had everything ready to go to shoot this video. So you're probably seeing this a little bit later. Um, because I won't be putting this out till I'll, I'll be putting it out the morning of the premiere, uh, as opposed to when it comes out at night. But I'm glad that Disney puts them out a little bit earlier on Tuesday evening, so I have ton, enough time to watch it, do a video, all that stuff. So um, I'm very happy with the season overall. And this episode had a lot of action. It had a lot of uh, tying up some loose ends, and then. But there, there's no way they were going to cover everything, right? I think the question was going to be, what were some of the things we're going to leave out? Uh, I'll say this up front. Uh, one of the things that kind of uh, my complaints, if you will, my gripes about this last episode, uh, we got to see very little of both Ray Stevenson as Balin and Ivana Sakno as Shin Hati. I really, really grew to love those characters. Uh, <clears throat> so, like, the fact that we don't get to see much of them, which makes sense. It's a big episode. It's got to be filled with, like, some of the really, really important stuff. Uh, but there's so much. There's so many little... Uh, as I was going down, taking notes and all that, I wrote down some little Easter eggs that, you know, are there for people that have watched Rebels, the, the OG Clone Wars, all that other stuff. So, yeah, really, really cool stuff. Um... But overall, like I said, I think it's a great season. Whatever they're going to do next, I'm very excited for. Um, the performances were great. You know, standouts, like I said, Ray Stevenson, you know, uh, who, who has unfortunately passed. Balin Skull was just such a good antagonist uh, from the beginning, right? He opens up the show uh, and, and all the way till the end. Like, Ray Stevenson just has that presence uh also Lars Mikkelsen I think he really captures the essence of Grand Emerald Ron I love the continuity because he was the one that voiced him in the series uh and I kind of I appreciate I grew to really enjoy the look because it looks like a disheveled like uh he's kind of downtrodden because he's been away in this other planet also Diana Leon Santo uh she can act she can fight uh she's spooky so I love it um David Tennant is who young to me remains the heart of the show. Uh, and of course, Rosario Dawson and Mary Elizabeth Winston, both of them like having to have the prosthetics on all the time, especially Rosario Dawson, because she was in almost every, pretty much every episode. She had action scenes in every episode where she had to be moving around with that. Uh, but yeah, great, great performances by the cast. Uh, and of course, the chemistry between Sabine and Estra, like once they got there, like it was just back to where we were at Rebels. So Natasha Liberdiso and Imanis Fondi just doing a great job there. So yeah, really, really enjoyed the season. Uh, so let's...